So what I've done to prepare my coral trout today is I've put a couple of slits in here crisscross, mainly for presentation. The only thing that I have left on here that I haven't trimmed up in the fin situation is this dorsal fin here. Now this is a great thing to leave in because that tells me when the fish is cooked. So if I can remove that just nice and gently at the end and it just pops out in my hand, I know the fish is definitely cooked. So what I've got to do now with my trout is just season it with some salt and pepper and a little bit of uh, olive oil just so it doesn't stick. Okay, plenty of sea salt goes on. Now it looks like a lot of sea salt that's going on here, but it actually isn't a lot. We lose a lot of it in the cooking. Now a little bit of pepper. So now our trout's ready for the barbecue. So I'm just going to turn the fish. Oh yeah, it's looking beautiful. Got a nice colour happening here on our trout. And now I'm just going to close the lid and we're going to cook that now for probably around about, say, 8 to 10 minutes. And then it's going to be fully cooked. Okay, so we'll pop back in a second. While the trout's still cooking, I've got some white wine in here. I've got some lemongrass and I'm going to put a pinch of saffron in there. What we're making is a, a nice bit blanc to go over the top of this. And this is a very simple sauce. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just reduce this down by about two thirds. Then we're gonna add a little bit of cream. And it's a thickened cream I'm using. So I'm just gonna stir this to incorporate the cream. And as you can see, what a beautiful yellow saffron sauce we're starting to make here. So I'm just gonna emulsify with a few knobs of butter and we just whisk it in away from the heat. All the butter's melting just nicely now. You must whisk it until all the butter's melted completely. Okay, so we're just going to check our coral trout now. There we go. The trout's perfectly done. So what I'm going to do now is it's going to dress with some chervil. So the chervil goes over the top of our fish, like so. So now I'm going to just top with our saffron sauce. Some beans and some tomatoes through there. And there we go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip. Now if you'd like to see any more of my recipes, you can go to escapewithet.com or you can follow The Hook and the Cook on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And we'll see you next week.